In the beginning, God created heaven and earth, displaying his perfect wisdom, power, and majesty. God made man and woman in his image, filling them with the dignity and purpose of knowing the Creator and governing the earth on his behalf, a perfect relationship between people and God. Yet they rebelled against the Creator, believing they could become like God, become their own source of glory. They sinned. Sin stained them, fracturing the connection between humanity and the Creator. All people inherit this separation from God. We sense this void and try to fill it. In Babel, they built a tower to become like God. Like them, we are determined to create our own source of dignity and purpose. But man's efforts fall short and end in disaster. Sin plagues humanity, creating division between families and separating us from God. But God, rich in mercy and overflowing with love for us, had a plan to save humanity. He sent Jesus, the promised Messiah, to reconnect humanity with the Creator. Jesus performed miracles, taught as a master, and dined with outcasts. He spoke of a great feast at God's table where everyone could be an honored guest. The sick and outcasts came to him, and instead of defiling Jesus, they were healed and restored. Yet people once again rebelled. Jesus allowed this to happen. He endured all the shame and humiliation humans could inflict. In the moments before his death, Jesus supernaturally took all our sin and shame upon himself, suffering God's wrath and humanity's separation from God. Because without Jesus offering himself, humans could never be restored through their good deeds or religious traditions and have a relationship with God. Then God raised Jesus from the dead. He completely overcame humanity's sin and shame. He showed that true glory comes from God and cannot be marred by anything on earth. He returned to heaven, inviting us to enter a restored relationship with the Creator, drawing dignity and purpose from the true source of honor. Will you accept his invitation? If you'd like to restore your relationship with God, you can express your faith with prayer.